Meanwhile, California is now extending the deadline for state financial aid programs. This comes after many applicants came across problems that prevented them from completing their FAFSA applications. CBS 8's Esmeralda Perez breaks down what this extension means. Navigating the financial aid application can be a complicated process. This year, it's been even more challenging with technical problems, but a new law just signed by the governor will ease the pressure by giving applicants more time. Federal financial aid hurdles blocked many applicants from completing their FAFSA application for next school year. This will be my third year. Christopher Lozano has experienced issues with the application process in the past. It said that it was on a halt because of the whole thing that was going on at the Supreme Court and everything, and so they didn't actually truly process my financial aid properly, and I think I did miss out on a lot of opportunities. Calmatter says the glitch affected mostly students who are U.S. citizens but whose parents are undocumented. Applicants were alerted with an error message during the application process because their parents don't have a social security number. Students that are citizens and then their parents are undocumented, it's like a whole different process. Mm -hmm. So it just varies person to person, and because it is a brand new um, FAFSA application, there's not much help. As a result of technical glitches, Assemblymember Sabrina Cervantes introduced AB 1887, which Governor Gavin Newsom signed into law. This new law gives applicants an extension to apply for financial aid. A lot of times our time management is a little bit off. You know, we got multiple classes, uh, lives outside of school, and then you might forget, you might have to get different documents in order, tax documents, family documents. The new law means the April 2nd deadline is now pushed back to May 2nd. That's a whole month that incoming California undergrads and current college students have to complete their FAFSA application for the 2024-2025 academic year. That This extension does help a lot of my friends because now you have to use your parents. Um, they need to make an account as well as you, yourself. Last month, the U.S. Department of Education said it had to fix some technical problems in the application process, but alerted that there are some remaining issues. With the passing of this bill, the federal government now has more time to fix the ongoing implementation issues. Esmeralda Perez, CBS 8.